Hello and welcome to another quick video here. So, uh, first of all, let me get rid of that uh, animation stuff down there. So, go to the UI elements. And I don't want to have the time slider and the range slider. Alright. Okay, so let me think for a second what we can model here real quick. Mm. Let's start with uh, some, some something here on that front wing. Um, those connections here. So if you take a look at that, so this is, um, if you switch to a uh, picture here, so I want to model this thing here right now. Um, it should be easy, so let's go back to Maya. Um, go to the side view, and then I will start with a single plane here. So create a plane, hit W to move that guy, and then I'm going to rotate that. 90 degrees in Z and my default here is set to 10 by 10 divisions here under the inputs I just need one with just one single face here and now let's uh, scale that guy down here and all right so let's take the take the background wireframe here as a first guide so like that, yeah. Okay, and then I'm selecting this edge here. Hit extrude, and then hit W to extrude this and Z here. Move it, and then again moving some verts. Bring it here. Bring this one here, and now we go on. Um, Go to edge mode, select those two edges here, and let's extrude those. Hit W and then I move the extrusion down here. So this is going to be connected somewhere down here so that we, we don't see that. So it should sit somewhere here in the end. Okay, let's move some verts again. Um, Okay, looks a little bit weird here, but let's insert some edge loops here. So the insert edge loop tool here, move that here, go to vertex, and move those verts. Uh, insert another edge loop. And move those words roughly into position here. <coughs> so we need one. Yeah, let's uh, try something here. So go to edge mode. So I select this edge here and then hit control, right click over that edge, go to the edge ring utilities to edge ring and split. And then I set it here for, uh, under the inputs to multi and type in three divisions. I think that's should be enough here for this piece. Um, just uh, move it here, move this thing there, and let's move this guy here. Yeah, so I, I think it's coming down somewhere here. That's only a guess because you won't see it here because we have something in our way. Oops. <coughs> All right. So let's uh, check the, uh, that out from the front view. Uh, all right. So this is yeah. So it's uh, this thing here. It's a little bit hard to see, but um, yeah, if we take that object here and move it here somewhere yeah I think that's that's gonna work in the end okay let's go back to the side view and as you can see here we're still missing some parts here in the front um, yeah let me do select here 
those edges and let me hit extrude again hit W yeah I move it somewhere here I might want to move to some verts yeah and I don't I can't see what's going on here but yeah let's um, select some more edges here do another extrusion hit W move it just a tiny bit here okay and then let's move this guy up here so and I don't I don't want to model this uh, up here because uh, that's where it's gonna be connected later onto that nose and that's what we or what I'm gonna do later when we have a piece or the part of that nose done okay mm. let's check that out from the perspective okay so <clears throat> let's let's take a look at the picture here again so this is coming okay that should work okay so select uh, oops select all those verts here the the two lines are the two verts on that front part and then let's move that just a tiny bit here and let's check that out from the front somewhere here and then um, let me try to control right click and then shrink selection okay that didn't help all right um, let's select a few verts here only the front row and then let's uh, move this guy a bit in check it out from the front don't want to move it too much selecting the two rows here alright so let's um, try something <coughs> so we take this guy here and what we could do is uh, let's uh, delete the history and let's uh, freeze the transforms so I got that button here um, now let's hit uh, D to move the pivot move the pivot uh, first an X and then V middle mouse over this point here and then we want to duplicate this guy hit control D and then scale the the copy of that uh, negative one in X like that okay so we take both objects here and combine those and then we can uh, select all those verts here all those front words and then say merge okay so now we have to um, give this a little bit rounded shape at the uh, end here so let's uh, check out how that looks from the side okay check it out on a picture that's all right so what we could do now is we could uh, use our append polygon tool so that's this little button here so and then we select um, so what I did was um, I'm doing it in a couple of more times a little bit hard to see um, so if you select that append polygon tool click on that then you um, left click on that one edge and then left click on that corresponding edge and then I hit a G to repeat the last tool click on this one this one hit G and I'm doing this all the way down hitting G click click G click click G and there you go uh, so we got that thing closed um, 
if we wanted to later on we could insert an edge loop here and round this off a little bit more but let's um let's go with this one here first so there i think there are some pieces later on that we might want to tweak a bit but yeah that's what we can do later all right so that's one thing done here so let me check out how much time i've got left here all right a few minutes um hide that thing uh, what can we do some simple stuff here so yeah let's let's create that an antenna here well, that's looking very complicated so let's get started with that so I'm creating here a cylinder you can see this right now but there it is and um, let's bring it here into its position uh, we don't need that many divisions here so we can dial down the subdivision axis to some something like eight that's enough, so let's scale that cylinder down to a size that uh, fits here, something like that. And then we scale this guy up in Y, somewhere about here. And then I move this guy down, and I scale it up just a bit more. All right. So let's check out uh, from the front view. We can see this guy. It's always hard to see because yeah, but it's not a big deal. We can we can uh, make this thing a little bit longer later on. All right, so let's um, let's delete the top faces here. So I select all the faces and then Control deselect the the uh, the long part here. <laughs> All right, so we got eight uh, faces up here, and we want to create this kind of uh, what shape is that? Kind of like a little ball, a little bit stretched thing here. Yeah, let's um, create a uh, polygon sphere. Let's bring this guy here somewhere. Uh, we have to scale it down. What? this thing would be this big in real life the driver can see the racetrack anymore <laughs> all right um, so we obviously can dial down those subdivisions here under the inputs so let's uh, we might want to try eight okay eight divisions here I think that's that's okay so we might want to take a look at a picture where we can see this thing a little bit closer. Yeah, can't see this really. Uh, here you can see it looks a li like a little ball. So here in those images, it's uh, it's way it's like a like a round ball here, and not like the thing that you see. On the wireframe, so all right, let's just um, let's just go with that ball type here. Um, okay, we can scale it down, and then we uh, let's um, hit W to move, and then move it here in Z, and then V middle mouse over this point here, so that we have it here in the center. And what we could do now is go down here, select those bottom faces of that sphere, delete those. Just hit delete on the keyboard. And then we can say, okay, we take this thing and select uh, the cylinder and then say combine. And then we take double click here on, on this border edge, shift double click on the corresponding one. And then we go to mesh, edit mesh, um, bridge. So let's check out the options. Three divisions it should be good. All right. So we get this thing connect connected. <coughs> All right. I think I'm running out of time here. Um, yeah. So in the next video, I will go on um, modeling a few uh, smaller, easier pieces here. See you in the next video.